My name is Michelle Dreer. This is my lovely assistant, Beatrice. Welcome to Two Tone Press, a letterpress print shop, and Print League KC, a community print shop. So some of the things that we do here is we can do um, which is letterpress printing, which is an old style of printing where we use antique presses from like 40 to 50, even 100 years ago, where we stamp into paper. Um, back in the Print League area, we can do all kinds of printmaking processes like silkscreen, etching, lithography, um, and relief printing, which printmaking is when you put ink on a surface and you put paper down, press it down, and peel it up to get your image. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is this guy right here. Do you remember what we called this? Uh, I forgot again. It's all right, collagrass, it's a mouthful. So what we decided to do was to use the Nelson's collection <laughs> as inspiration for our process. So what you can do is go to the Nelson Atkins Museum art website, look on or press on search collection, and then under search, you can put in a subject matter that you're interested in talking about. So what we were doing was masks. Masks. Let's see if I can spell it right. A S K S. Search. And then, yeah, and then it brings up pieces from the collection we, we have here in Kansas City. So then you can just click on it. Do you want to click on that guy? Just press it. And it'll bring up the image. Um, it'll tell you a little bit about where it's from, when it was made, um, and you can take have the have them take a look at the images up close. You can also print the images out like this. So this was one of the masks that we talked about. What did you say about this mask? It looks like he's trying to be scary. Yeah. Can you make this face? Very nice. <laughs> All right. So we looked at a few of the mask collections and talked about what masks are used for. Uh, when do we wear masks? When do we wear masks? During the coronavirus. <laughs> During the coronavirus, which is totally different. But for fun, right? Halloween. Like that Halloween sort of thing. Parties. Yeah. Superheroes wear masks. Yeah. And so then we got some car just regular cardboard, cardboard scraps and pieces, and a collagraph is just when you glue pieces down to a surface um, to make a raised surface uh, that we're going to print from. But not only can you print from it, but you can also paint from it. Do you want to show them yours? Look at this lovely mask. This was a, it's got one eye. <laughs> oh, was it a cyclops? Yeah. A one-eyed cyclops. Very nice. nice. Here are some of our other examples. So if you don't have, if you don't want to do a printmaking process, this is really fun to do by just painting. <laughs> All right, but we, since we are in a print shop, are going to print this guy. Um, also, to make this, all you need is, you want to hold that up? Tacky glue. And then this. Scissors. And cardboard. And you just glue the pieces down and really any kind of uh, relief object you can use things that you find at home like buttons uh, other scraps of paper cardboard anything that you can find you just kind of stack and glue onto the cardboard to make an image all right so we're gonna head over to the ink palette to ink this guy up all right so here is our ink flat palette which is glass so that we can clean it up very easily uh, over here, we've got our brayers, which is just um, art rollers. Um, they come in lots of different sizes and they're rubber. We've got our palette knife for mixing, a scraper to, and a little brush. Ink wise, if you're going to be doing this at home, I recommend block printing ink, which is water soluble. It's really easy to clean up. But um, here at our print studio, we have oil based inks, which is uh, goes on a little bit nicer. So we've got a nice blue. So I'm going to get this and we will use, let's see, we'll use a little guy. And we just spread it across like so. And then Beatrice is going to roll it back and forth and side to side. Hmm. Just up and down, side to side. <laughs> and you want that nice sticky sound. That kind of sounds like sizzling bacon. Yeah, you're right. Does that sound like sizzling bacon? Yeah. We'll do a little smoother in the center there. All right. Then you just roll it on this guy right here. So you can hold it on the bottom and then just roll the ink right on everywhere. Okay. 
All right, in these small areas that we can't really get, you can probably get that right there. You can use this brush and you can just dab it in there like that. You want to try? Yeah. So just so yeah, just kind of. All right, you ready to see how this guy looks? Yeah. All right, you should wipe your fingers on your apron. There we go. So nice and inked up right there. And then we're going to head over to the press. All right, so here is our inked mask. Yeah. So I'm going to set it down face up. And then our paper, we're going to use a thin paper so that it really gets pushed into those um, low areas. And we're just going to set it on top and kind of hand press it a little. And I want to make sure I get anything on the press. Yeah. And these blankets are going to push into the paper into the image so that we get a nice print. All right, so Beatrice, you're going to turn the wheel, turn the crank. It's like a little bit, but it spins. So this is a beautiful Griffin etching press. Keep going. And with this large roller is just applying pressure and rolling it through. All right, a little bit more. And all right. Let's take a look at our print. All right, so peel it up this way. Nice. Ta-da! And here we have our Collagraph mask face. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Wow! <laughs> So if you don't have a printing press, you can always hand rub it. Um, using your fingers works really well or a wooden spoon. And you can do something like this at home. Thanks for, Thanks joining, for joining us. us.